Okay, alright, so if you could just follow me again, talking about Daniel's Law, and follow me with NBC10 uh, news reporter Deanna Dewberry and Brett Davidson's report on um, the death of Daniel Puritan from Chicago, uh, Rochester, New York area. We learned that the ideas take people and money. Deanna, there are about two dozen people assigned to the mental health intervention units in the city and the county right now, two dozen. There are three dozen, approximately three dozen, mental health transports by police in our county every day. Daniel's Law is named after Daniel Prude, who died after he stopped breathing in Rochester Police custody last March. It's a proposed law that flips the system, dispatching a mental health unit instead of police. It needs to be a shift from um, control and force to compassion, care, um, de-escalation, and, and treatment. Do you think law enforcement... And this is Senator right here, Senator Harry Bronson, and also co-sponsored the bill. Police departments would be on board with something like that? I do. You know, I mean... Pat Phelan is the former Greece police chief. He's now the head of the State Association of Police Chiefs. You felt for a long time that mental health professionals respond to mental health calls. The problem is getting people to do it. Look at these numbers. In 2020, RPD got more than 302,000 calls. More than 4,000 ended up being mental health situations where police took the person to the hospital. Countywide, it was 10,000. Uh, that's about 30 times a day. Assemblyman Harry Bronson, the sponsor of Daniel's Law, was asked how many people are needed to fulfill the mandate of the law. Yeah, I'm not prepared to, to give a number at this point. We know we need a hell of a lot more. Last night, we heard a Rochester police officer call for FIT, the forensic intervention team. Uh, and are they violent? No, they're... Of course, we can uh, contact the FIT team. The FIT team? Sure, you door. This is why advocates like Stanley Barton talk about moving money out of the police department. And she and I did have the chance to meet Stanley Martin at the caucus this weekend. She was a wonderful person. She did talk and she does support Daniel's Law as well, has been very in instrumental in passing this legislation with Senator Samuel Brooks' office. References the girl pepper sprayed by Rochester Police last week. We have to ensure that it's successful by allocating adequate resources and funding so the situation we saw with the 9 year old child doesn't happen again. So again, in a little less than an hour, the mayor reveals the uh, city's draft proposal for police reform mandated by the governor. That deadline for the final proposal is April 1st. Uh, we're going to be watching this. We can tell you that it includes uh, changes uh, to state law so that uh, the city could fire police officers for cause and renegotiate the union contract with uh, the RPD union. It also includes money for mental health services, a program to help police officers deal with stress, and passage of Daniel's Law. Berkeley Green News 10 NBC. Berk, thank you. All right, so again, thank you to... Uh to YouTube for the for the informational video. Like I said before, um, he will he died. He was asphyxiated by under police custody for um, for uh, and that's how he died by uh, by suffocation. Uh, Daniel Cruz did. Those are the, the, the video the pictures of it. So uh, Stanley Martin is a part of the group called Free the People ROC. She does support. Um, Instilling justice for the for the life of Daniel Prude, as well as for community advocacy for um, police for uh, police.